All right, guys, these are five knots that I think everyone should learn how to do. They come in handy. I use them just about every single time I go camping for my tarp shelter, for tying out tent stakes, or just doing crafts around the campsite. Okay, the first knot I'm gonna teach is the Bolin knot. It's a fixed loop knot. How I start this is I have my long running end over here, my tail on my right hand. Wrap it around my left hand to make a loop. I fold the loop back over the running end, pull the running end through to make another loop, like so. I have my tail, feed it through, hold taut, and then cinch everything down, and it should look like this. One of the uses of a bowl and knot is to secure a ridge line. So I can take it, wrap it around my tree, and I can make a loop. I can grab a stick or an extra tent stake, put it in the loop and cinch it down. And when I have tension on my guy line, the tent post will not slip out. And then when I'm ready to tear down camp, I can just pull this and release. Okay, so the next knot we're gonna talk about is the trucker's hitch. So I like to grab the rope with my left hand underneath and twist my wrist to make a loop. You'll take your loop and fold it over top of the loose end cinch it down to make a new loop. Take your loose end and feed it through that loop. And what I like to do is I like to do that a second time. Okay. And then when you pull tension on this, the friction from the second pass of the loop prevents it from slipping. Now all you have to do is tie it off in a numerous ways. I like to just do a quick release knot the next knot is called a square knot. It's kind of like the knot you use to tie your shoes. You put one end over the other and you do the reverse for the second pass. The next knot we're going to be using is called the prusik knot. You're going to take a little piece of rope and tie the ends together, like so. You'll take the loop and lay it over top of your ridge line. You're going to take one end and feed it down through the other. You'll loop this loop again feed it a second time. Try to keep it neat as you do this and you'll do it a third time. Like so. Dress it up and you should be left with something like this. Now the cool thing with this rope is when it doesn't have tension on it, it can free slide around the ridge line. Great for setting up your tarp how you want it. It's good for boiling water over a fire. When it's boiling, you can just move it away. You could use it as a loop for hanging things. And then when you have tension, it will bite into the rope and it won't slide at all. But then when you take the tension off, it'll free slide. And this is the Marlin spike hitch. And I start it the same way as I start my bowl and knot. You have the rope laying in the palm of your hand like so. Make a loop around your hand. Take your loop Feed it up the rope to make a new loop. Take a stake or a stick or what have you, cinch it down, and then you can put the stake in the ground and you can use it to secure your tarp. I hope these come in handy in your next adventure. Go out, have fun, and be safe, and I'll see you next time.